Up to now, every time we've been generating images in Stable Diffusion, we've had to click on the Generate button to generate one single image. Now, let's say that I want to generate multiple images. How do I do this? First of all, you go over to the Generate button and then right click and then click on Generate Forever. And what this does, as the name implies, is continuously generate images. Now, if you want to stop this, we go over to back over to the generate button and then right click again and click cancel generate forever. Now, the other question that you may have is, yes, we've generated these multiple images, but where are they? So to find them, go over to the file explorer button over here, click on it, and you should see folders ordered by date. Click on the relevant date. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to find all the images that Stable Diffusion generated. Now we have another problem. Let's say by using Generate Forever, I generate an image that I really like. However, I would like to know what seed was used to actually generate the image. How would I find this out? To begin, you'd go over to the tab where it says PNG Info. And then going back into the folder which contains your images, you find the image that you wanted to know the seed of and then drag it into the actual PNG info box over here. And then afterwards, you'd click on send text to image. And Stable Diffusion will load up all the settings that it used to actually generate the image. So as you can see here, not only do I have the prompts and the sampling steps that were used, I actually also have the seed, which I was after. Now, Generate Forever is an excellent way to produce a large amount of images. But let's say that I want to produce only a set number of images every time I click generate. Now there are two ways to do this. One is with batch count and the other is with batch size. Now with batch count, if I set this to a value such as five and then click generate, what I'm telling Stable Diffusion is generate five images one after the other. So generate the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So as you can see, Stable Diffusion has generated five images. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now, batch size is sort of the opposite of batch count in that as batch count generates the images one after the other, batch size produces them in parallel. And what I mean by this is that if I set this to a value such as three, then click generate, Stable Diffusion will generate all three images at once. In theory, this is the faster way to generate images because you're generating them all at once rather than with batch count where it's one after the other. But in reality, I haven't seen a noticeable speed improvement when using batch size. So keep that in mind as your mileage may vary. One more thing that I want to point out about batch size is the amount of images that you can actually generate with it largely depend on the amount of VRAM your GPU has. So if you have a GPU with a low amount of VRAM, so anything 8 GB and below, you may struggle with using batch size with a high number of images. And if you do, you probably will get this error up on screen here. If you find yourself with this error, all you need to do is lower the batch size value until it's something that your GPU VRAM can handle. 